It's masked Becky, and I've headed out to the reject shop. It's one of the few stores left open right now, and I'm looking for art supplies. I have $30 to spend. What can I find in this store? Okay, it seems like everyone else has had the same idea because there's nothing. They've almost sold out of everything. No! But look, there's pens and pencils and coloured things. Okay, at least it's something. Well, that was almost a fail. There was barely anything in there. But I managed to get some stuff together. And as you can see on here, I paid $27.50. Cash tender $30 <laughs> and $2.50 change. Let's now have a look at all of the things I got one by one. First up is this gigantic visual art diary. It was the only pad of plain paper that was in there. There were some lined notebooks, but that was it. And I was kind of hoping to have one that was half the size, but no, I had to get the big boy because that's all that was there. It says it is... Suitable for ink, pastel, charcoal, crayon, and pencil. It is 50 sheets and is 120 GSM, which is better than a lot of them that are 110 GSM. So I'm hoping this is actually half decent. Let's open it and check out the paper. They also had black ones, but I figured I'd go for the blue cover today because it was pretty. Uh... So let me shred this off. All right, so ooh, it's kind of a rubbery feeling to it. It's quite nice. Okay, we're in trouble. <laughs> we're in big trouble here. It is like a really, not newsprint, but it's really, really textured. And yeah, I'm thinking this is gonna have to be dry media, but I've got pens because that's what I could find today. So yeah, we are going to have so much fun doing this. I can't even decorate the cover because I don't have any paints. Yay! <laughs> I'm not making this easy for myself today. Anyway, let's see what else we have in the pile. Well, I do have some pencils. A six pack of HP pencils, complete with little erasers. I have no idea if those are going to be any good or not, or if indeed the pencils themselves are going to be any good, but it was a dollar and yeah, I just thought I'd grab that. So I got these fine liner pens for two dollars. There's two blacks, a blue and a red. These ones turned out to be the more expensive ones at eight dollars, but these are more fine liner pens, 12 of them in different colors. So hopefully there's a bit of a choice there. I got some correction pens in case I want some white highlights. Some little pretty pastel gel pens. I got these felt pens. I am not holding out hope on this paper. We're going to have to do a swatch test and I think we'll see how awful these are going to be. So I may have to change my mind on this paper. Oh, and I couldn't resist it. It was 50 cents. It's a shiny pencil case and I figured I'll put all my supplies into it. <laughs> I did swatches of all of the supplies, not every single pen, but samples from them. And I was pleasantly surprised to find that the fine liner pens and the pencil and when I come to some of the other pens, they all work really, really well. There was barely any feathering or bleeding. They were fine. And probably the most issue I had were the pastel gels. There are two orange ones there for some reason and they were a pain to start and the orange one was really really psychedelic and yeah you could barely see it so I think I might stick to some of the other things. The marker pens or felt pens as I like to call them were also really good. I mean they work like water based pens in that they will chew the paper over time but not bad. I had to shake that white out ink quite a lot for it to come good but not too bad there the white gel pen I could not get to work so I guess I'll be using the correction pens for any highlights oh and I remembered finally to use the eraser and that was really good too it actually rubbed the pencil out hooray and I cheated a bit because I couldn't buy a brush there I grabbed a cheap one out of my collection I figure that would have been two dollars fifty or less and obviously the marker pens are water soluble, but I was quite surprised to find that all of the fine liners are too. Uh oh, the only waterproof things were the gel pens. Let's just take a look at the back of this paper to see if anything's bled through. Not bad. There is a bit of obviously buckling where I've put the water. But all things considered, this paper's actually holding up far better than I thought it was going to. I thought this was going to be an absolute nightmare. And 
so far it seems to be relatively okay. Like it's not going to be super amazing, but I think I'll be able to get something out of it. So I'm excited to have a bit of fun with this paper <laughs> and these art supplies. So let's get into it. Let's get a drawing going. I printed out a photo of Pixabay of this lovely sea turtle and I'm using my light box just to trace it all out. I'll link the reference image in the description below. Probably should have used a window but hey there you go. <laughs> so I just did a really basic outline and now I'm going in with the pencil and just drawing in all of the details using the photo for reference but most of its spots that I can't think of a better word for it at the moment, but the markings, there we go. <laughs> Most of the markings on the turtle I just kind of made up as I went along. I wasn't too close to the reference, I used it a little bit, but really, I mean, it doesn't matter too much as long as it kind of looks like markings. And it's a bit faint at the moment because I was trying to draw lightly so as to not have to rub it out and make lovely messes all over the paper. You can see I'm using the eraser to rub out my mistakes and it worked really well. So 10 out of 10 for the $1 set of pencils. They were perfectly great. So I'll just let this run through and I'll come back when I start coloring it. Okay, I was also naughty here and I used the kneaded eraser to take out most of the markings. Then I went in with the fine liners drawing in some of the detail. The fine liners worked perfectly well, but because it's an A3 pad of paper, they were not going to work for colouring things and it would just take forever and a day. So I used them basically as an outline. And then I started going in with those really cheap markers and this is where the problems began because as soon as the brown marker touched any of that yellow marker that I'd used, it just started to bleed and feather. I couldn't really blend the markers. They were ripping up the paper and the whole thing was just a nightmare from the very beginning. I was trying to wet it out with the water and that wasn't working either. And you could probably see around the nose area, the ink just kept bleeding into each other and there was nothing I could do to stop it. So I just kind of gave up trying to blend different markers together and I just went in with the dark brown and colored in all of the markings. I tried to use some of the red brown up the top but yeah you could see just how terribly they blend and oh it was a nightmare. I'm amazed I persevered with these markers for as long as I did. Ah. They don't look so bad on the camera but oh they were just horrible and the whole time what you can't hear is me cursing and swearing at them for pretty much all of this leg and I was just going why did I have to draw on an A3 size piece of paper because it was oh, so slow and so frustrating and yeah <laughs> I could go on for hours about the misery that I was going through at the moment here. I was fed up with the brown pen plus it had picked up so much paper and it had bits all over it so I thought I'd start doing the shell and I figured I'd go in with orange colors just to give it a bit more contrast and oh, it was even worse on larger areas I tried so hard to blend them but it just looks so messy and yeah when you've been used to uh, materials that blend having ones that don't blend just uh, just make me want to shrivel up inside so by this point I'd had enough and I was ready to throw the whole thing out so I pulled out my expensive Albrecht Dura watercolor markers by Faber Castell and the difference was like night and day these things went on so smoothly I just couldn't get over how bad the other markers were by comparison to how good these ones were and you can see that all of a sudden I can fill in areas really quickly, the colors layered on each other, they didn't rip up the paper anywhere near to the level of those cheap markers. I mean water based markers will rip up paper when you do layer them no matter what they are but these ones were just 
so much better and I was really happy to use them and the rest of the drawing went really well by comparison because I felt like I was back in my groove enjoying the art supplies that I was using here which of course they are far more expensive but they were worth every cent I tell you and then I'm using the nice markers to do the back fin or flipper as well because they were just so much more pleasant and yeah you could probably see that they aren't leaving nasty streaky lines as compared to that front flipper where you can see streaky bits all over the place so the difference between them was just colossal and they did blend out a bit better with water although I mean the paper was also a factor and it is most definitely not designed for water but it did okay it wasn't as buckled as I expected it to be so yeah it was all right in small doses you wouldn't want to do a big watercolor wash over it though but in little areas it was okay and you could see just how much better I was getting with the blending and yeah I also used the graphite pencil to put in a lot of the gray shading because the gray pen was just a bit too dark and yeah the pencil I think worked quite well with the rest of it just to give it a bit of shadow I did use that yellow pen again to color the light areas and really I could probably have done more with the actual fine liners because I think those were okay but by this stage I just wanted to get the thing finished because I was really frustrated and I was having a bad day with it and the Faber-Castell markers just made it so much better and made me happier. I wasn't going to paint the whole background blue, but I did just a little bit around and I actually coloured out some of the marker onto just a glass dish that I had lying around, just to give a bit of a hint of the water around it. I then got the whiteout pen to go and I put a little bit on the turtle just to give some highlights but I found that it sank into the paper so it wasn't really that great but it kind of worked a little bit not as good as some of my other white pens and then I just covered everything with a bit of shading with the graphite pencil because really that was the best thing that I bought all day <laughs> other than the pencil case perhaps I used a tiny bit of gel pen over the top of the shell just to give it a bit of texture added a few bubbles and I called it done <laughs> Alright, I am done. I can't stand it any longer. <laughs> oh my goodness. This was an exercise in pure frustration. Oh. I have sorted out my art supplies into things that are worth the money and things that are not worth the money. So let me just do a quick summary of everything. These pencils, six of them for a dollar. They work fine, no issues whatsoever. The erasers are nice, the pencil's good. So those are fine. These big fine liners, intensity ones, these were pretty good. These were more expensive, they were $8 for the set, but as I've probably mentioned about a thousand times, you are getting what you pay for here definitely. So yeah, these fine liners are pretty good. These ones, which were $2, were not so good. They're okay for doing, you know, probably just writing and things like that, but for doing art, you could see how it bled, and yeah, so they had the limitations. You know, they're okay as a stationary supply, but not really for an art supply. The gel pens, they worked fine. I don't really have many complaints other than they were a bit of a pain to start, and sometimes with the skinny pens like this, they do just dry up randomly even though there'll be heaps of ink in there so I'm on the fence with those they were okay I didn't really end up using them I used a tiny bit of the orange just over the top to see what they would do they're okay so I mean if you just bought some gel pens you know they're all right they're not bad so I put them up as middle things you know it's like I'm sort of neither here nor there on those the whiteout pens I didn't think they were that great maybe they'd be all right you know just if you're correcting some mistakes but for art purposes they weren't very good it soaked into the paper a lot really you'd be better off getting either a white roller ball I think this is a jelly roll so this has got a lot more opacity to it but as you can see even that sinks in so um, I'm, I've lost my uni ball one the Uniball Signo is so much more opaque and is a much better white pen. So I'd grab a large Uniball 
pen. All right, I had to dig around and I found one. <laughs> so you want to get the broad Signo Uniball pen, not the slender one, because the slender ones tend to die, but the broad ones are really, really great. They cost about $4 each in Australia. They are so worth it. They last quite a long time and I use them all the time. I highly recommend them. Alternatively, you could get yourself some paint pens. This is a Pilot Pintor paint marker. I think Posca markers are, you know, some of the more well-known ones, but there are cheaper versions out there. These ones are quite good. So yeah, I would recommend using those over whiteout, which did not work at all for me today. But um, oh, oh, just be careful not to push down on it and make the paint spread everywhere. There are many alternatives out there that if you just spend you know, even just a little bit more money, you're going to get something that's so much less irritating, honestly. These pens, do not get them, ever. They are guaranteed to just make anyone not want to do art because they are that awful. I know these are expensive, but 20 of these markers are going to make you so much happier and you cannot put a price on happiness, I swear. So save your money up, get yourself something that's high quality, you're going to be so much happier, you're going to be able to work better. Even if you bought, say, half a dozen fine quality markers, you're going to have so much more luck with them than you are with a whole set of these evil beasts. What was the best value thing? This pencil gaze! Alright, so that's the end. I am highly traumatized at the moment, so I'm going to go and have a cup of tea and a break. And thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, even though it did not turn out as I expected it to. I will see you all again really soon. Swatch you later. Bye!